Hello art lovers, back again, placing more detail in this gorgeous painting I'm working on. I'm very, very proud of this painting right here. Looks good. I'm pretty satisfied with it. What I'm doing today, I'll be laying out a dragonfly. I like dragonflies too. Uh, just going to enhance this painting, I think, to the fullest. And I'm just going to lay out the lines and everything and come back with my colors and finish it up to the best of my abilities. With drawing uh, insects on your paintings, you know, it can enhance your paintings. Uh, one thing is going to bring a lot more realism to them. Uh, just, just the dynamics of it. Because most of the time you, you outside looking at plants, you're going to see some type of insect flying around or landing on something, right? So why not incorporate that in your paintings? Now, I've had these here to dry for about maybe three or four days. Then I I come back, came back, and steady lay some, some more paint on it. That way you can see exactly where you're going. Follow those road maps like I'm talking about. After you finish... Um, laying your, your drawing or painting out, whatever it may be. Just make sure what you're laying in the picture is not too small or for God's sakes, not too big. You don't want your pictures to come out looking like it's something out of Jurassic Park. Uh, very, very oversized. That's what I'm talking about with that. And by being oversized, it's going to throw everything else off. And you don't want to throw your painting off in no shape, form, or manner. By continuing, educate yourself on different layouts, different scenarios, and just take it step by step. But remember, you need to be happy with what you're doing and enjoy with what you're doing. I'm doing these short videos where you can kind of see exactly what I'm doing and how I do it. Right now, I'm mixing up burn umber. Laying out the thorax of this dragonfly. Just, just simplify things. It just brings out everything. Now the, the wings, mind you. What I'm gonna do with the wings later, after this part here, right here on the thorax. I don't know if you can see and zoom in right here. I'm gonna let that dry, and then later on I'm gonna come back after it dry, and put more detail in it. See how the dragonfly starting to take shape. And later on, you put your um, details in. Don't be afraid to add it. You can always take it out if it's too overpowering. But you want want realism. Well, should I say, that's what I like, realism. You don't have to go elaborate uh, to the point, but like again, if it's your painting or drawing or whatever it may be, unless it's stripped in details from a customer or whatever, just draw the way you feel you want to draw. It's your painting. You do it 
fit to meet your criteria, you know. Just have fun with it. See that little dragonfly starting to take shape? Simplicity. And all this back part right here is, is dry, completely dry right here. And that's acrylic. I do my paintings uh, acrylic, then oils over acrylic. You cannot do acrylics over oils. They will definitely crack. The two don't work the same. Well, I'm going to sign off right now. And when you get back, I'll show you the details going into this uh, dragonfly. And take care. Bye-bye.